Good morning, everyone. John Shalafo with MEMA. I'm really excited to be here uh, with all of you today. And uh, I'm just going to make a few comments and just tag right on to what Ben was saying about our community. Um, and I'm going to uh, recognize Paul McCarthy and Bill Hanby and the presidents and CEOs of the two organizations that own the show. And we've been working very closely, uh, at least on the remanufacturing side, Bill, with uh, your team, and we co-own the section. We co-own the responsibility of the community to make sure that the messaging gets out, that the automotive aftermarket uh, is a great place not only to work, but it's, uh, it really is uh, a responsible community. And I have such a love for the, for the automobile, and I was just uh, smiling, Ben, for the whole time when you were just saying that, especially behind me in New York. And one of my passions is to, it is really to uh, change or raise the awareness of how great our industry is. I believe that we make the parts for the ultimate mobile device. I mean, my phone is nothing, nothing compared to what my car can do. And for all of us who were old enough, our mobile device years ago was our bicycle, right? You want to go talk to your friends, you hopped on your bike, you went there. There's no reason why our cars can't do that today. They get us around safely, they transport us, and we can communicate them all the way. But with that said, I just wanted to um, say a few things about the Center for Sustainability that we at NEMA organized earlier this year. And we have, um, I'm going to ask Ed Edwards to join me in just a moment. He's a member of our steering committee. But we have uh, a vision. Uh, basically, it's going to go, I'm going to, it will make sense with the other words I've said. A world where leading society's need for transportation produces nothing but a positive impact on humanity and the environment, on people and the planet. And it's all about getting together a collaborative community, meeting our members wherever they are on the journey. And we have such a great steering committee that's representative of automotive, commercial vehicle, and remanufacturing. And with that said, I'm gonna ask Ed to just come on up and, and just say a few words. Ed Edwards, the CEO of Circuit Board Medics. Hey guys, I appreciate everyone coming out early this morning. Um, you know, as we've already heard, this does take a community. Um, I'm with the Center for Sustainability, as John said, and we just get a, good, a group of guys together that have a lot of different forms of waste. And, um, you know, by nature, Circuit Board Medics is very sustainable. We intercept a lot of nasty e-waste that would be headed towards the landfill. Sometimes that e-waste um, is going to even take a lot of things along with it. Um, there are a lot of vehicles on the road that are at a point that it doesn't make sense to do a very expensive replacement of an engine control module or a transmission control module or you know, some of these more expensive electronics on the road. Um, so, uh, but, you know, by nature, we're very sustainable. I'd love to sit and say that that's why we started doing what we're doing. That's, that's not. I mean, we were meeting other needs and we just realized just how much of a positive impact we were having along the way. But a lot of that comes along with not settling in and getting comfortable saying, hey, we're doing a good thing. Um, how can we take a good thing and even do it better, right? It's the continuous improvement. If we're not continuing to improve, then, then we'll just flatline, right? We'll not get any better eventually. Um, so that's really what we focus on at the center is starting to build that community. We have some representatives there from, um, you know, tire companies. Um, you know, Maureen Klein from Pirelli Tire is one of my uh, favorite members there because uh, she's, she says, you know, we're the poster child for waste. You know, what do you do with used tires? How do you, you know, recycle those, right? Um, but we get to bounce ideas off of each other um, and really start to set what those ESG policies should look like to be able to have a measured improvement. Um, it's not just good enough to say, you know, like I said, we're doing a good job. So I'm excited about a community coming together, um, trying to focus on, you know, how we do get better and, and, and look forward to some uh, productive conversation in the room this morning. Thank you. Consider this for a moment. If aliens from another planet were to land on Earth, they might look around and conclude that motor vehicles were the dominant species here. After all, motor vehicles are big, they're powerful, they are faster than any other creature on Earth. They have a greater capacity 
to carry and transport things than any other creature on Earth. And they are literally the wheels beneath our modern economy and civilization as we know it. Cars even have a religion. They congregate in temples that we call parking lots. They are so devout that even on the planet's busy arteries, they will congregate in slow meditation. <laughs> At some of these gatherings, vehicles will even offer loud, honking prayers. This is particularly common in New York. <laughs> Motor vehicles even have an entire industry that caters to their health and well-being, and that is our industry. We work in the largest and most insanely specialized industry for the custom repair and maintenance of one of history's most important, impactful, and productive human-made devices. And that gets us to the heart of why we're here. Our industry is by its very nature sustainable. By keeping vehicles on the road longer, by keeping them running better, by delaying the need for manufacture of a new vehicle, we are helping the environment. That fact about our industry is not widely appreciated, but we're going to change that together. Earlier this year, the Auto Care Association created its Sustainability Committee to deal with four different aspects of environmental sustainability. Education, slash communication, legislation, best practices, and recycling. However, even with the amazing work our committee has done in just a few months, we've quickly realized that a committee is not enough. We need a community. We need a community to educate ourselves and our industry about the importance, relevance, and opportunities of pursuing a smart, sustainable operation. We need a community to educate the public about the ways in which our industry is intrinsically sustainable. We need a community to adopt and share best practices. We need a community to promote legislation that makes sense for our industry and our planet. We need a community to create a culture and infrastructure and business model for better recycling. And most critically, we need you to help create the community. Everyone has a role to play. If you're interested in education, please say hi to Stefan Feder. Where's Stefan? There. He's by our education and uh, communication area. If you're into best practices, please see Malcolm Sismore. Malcolm's in our best practices corner. If you're interested in legislation, talk to Joe Steven. Joe? Here I am. Our legislation area. And if you're passionate about recycling, please spend some time with Scott Cannon. Scott. If you're not sure what you want to do, definitely introduce yourself to Danielle Thomas Pollard also known as DTP. So please, let's get some conversations going, let's connect, and let's start building a sustainability community within our amazing auto care industry. Thank you.